Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Um, this vlog is going to be full of news and announcements and lots of different pieces of information. So, let's get into it. Firstly, I want to say a massive thank you to you for listening to the podcast and listening to me ramble on on the vlogs. It's crazy how quickly things have snowballed. The Invisible Addiction started off as a one-off podcast series. It started really because I released my own gambling addiction story during lockdown. And lots of you got in touch with your words of support and encouragement. And if it wasn't from that, there would be no invisible addiction. And so I want to start this vlog by saying a massive thank you to you. So as I say, the invisible addiction was initially just going to be a one-off podcast series. It was a couple of days before when I asked my brother and I said, shall I set up a Facebook page and, and whatnot? And he was like, yes. Um, so <laughs> it was a mad three days. Uh, before the release of the first podcast and as I say it was just going to be a one-off series but things have started to evolve um, it's had over 2,000 plays podcast plays uh, with a global audience uh, a lot of you tune in from America so um, hello from across the pond and uh, it's it's got now the invisible addiction has now got over 500 followers across social media so um, it's brilliant it's certainly uh, it feels like it's it's raising awareness, that's the main thing, uh, and to highlight the effects of addiction to, to younger people. Like I, I mentioned regularly that my local community in Newbury uh, lost a young man to gambling related suicide and that that initially spurred me on to, to release my story um, during lockdown. So there's a sequence events of events uh, that have got me to this point um, but uh, yeah, I just, uh, I, as I say, I just cannot thank you enough. I get messages of support daily, emails, uh, messages on social media of support, and a lot of you are reaching out to say that it's helping you, and that for me is, is the main thing. So, um, nice one. So, I wanted to do some shout outs, and I'm bound to miss a couple of people off the list, and if I have, I do apologise. There's a lot of you to, to thank. In no particular order, I'd like to thank Darren from Rule It Out. I'd like to thank Ed Stoner from Now We Win, who also features in Podcast 6. I'd like to thank George Cooper on Twitter, who's provided me with many podcast guests. I'd like to thank Jeff um, and Brian from the All In Addicted Gamblers podcast over in America. Jeff especially has been a massive support. Uh, and I, I'll, I'll leave a link in this video about the problem gambling support groups that he runs over in America and well globally via Zoom. I'd like to thank Ryan and Chris from the All Bets Are Off podcast, uh, another gambling addiction recovery podcast who uh, they've been fantastic and a massive support. And finally I'd like to do a shout out to my girlfriend who has certainly been putting up with, uh, well, not a lot of uh, contact from me because I've just basically been buried away, uh, busy in front of a laptop. Um, doing the invisible addiction so I want to thank her as well she always says that she never gets a shout out so um, shout out to you right okay so what is this special news that I keep alluding to um, well the exciting news to tell you is that there will be a second series of the invisible addiction podcasts mega excited to announce that I've got some massive guests lined up I'm going to be speaking to people in recovery I've got a couple of people especially talking about their addictions to the roulette um, and online slot machines which I know are very addictive products. I'm going to be speaking to people in the treatment sectors so helping you stop gambling and then also helping you understand what treatment is available to help you recover uh, and then also I'll be speaking to a CEO uh, or former CEO of a, a gambling company so it's going to be really interesting to get his insight uh, of what goes on inside a betting company and what they do to help problem gamblers. And also, I'm going to be speaking to uh, a leading campaigner in this country for gambling legislation change. So, um, a real varied look at the gambling landscape um, in the UK. Uh, I think, I hope that you enjoy it. Um, again, you have to put up with my rambling on, but i um, really, really excited to share it with you and uh, for you to hopefully learn something from but also hopefully to inspire or motivate you to, um, to to stop gambling and also to show you that help is available and actually you can change your life you can turn it around 
and actually you do have bags of potential and you can you can make a difference to the world and you can be, you can become a better person you can recover you can repair broken relationships you can get out of debt um, you will stop feeling odd um, and life will get better and that's really what I want to put across or get across from the podcasts so another announcement that I have is that I've given the website a much needed once over, given it a bit of a spruce up. Um, not going to lie that uh, I've taken some inspiration from um, All Bets Are Off new uh, website and Epic's website. Um, insofar as now the InvisibleAddiction.com has now got a, a tab where you can look at the support available. So um, head on over to the website. Um, it's got website links to places like uh, Gamstop, which helps you uh, self-exclude from um, online uh, betting websites. Uh, Gamban, which blocks um, betting companies and apps on your devices. Um, It's got links to uh, the National Gambling Helpline, which uh, was really helpful for me. I rung them up and uh, got self-excluded from land-based casinos in in the UK. Um, And there's, there's plenty of others. Uh, they're not the com- it's not the complete list there are plenty more out there but it's just um, for me it's been the main ones I may add to the list as well so do check it out um, you've got links to the podcast the vlogs blog posts as well um, and uh, you can get some links to the social media okay so finally um, I've actually got a little clip for you actually we're gonna play a little game um, ever the ever the teacher me but uh, we're gonna play a little game and this is an upcoming clip that never made it to uh, the vlogs. Um, just wasn't appropriate. There was a bit before it, and it just didn't quite make sense. But this clip is is a bit silly, uh, but I hope it's got. Well, it, it has got a very serious message underneath, and it's to do with uh, the Samaritans. And I hope, I pray, if any of you ever get to this situation, that you might play this game, and. Hopefully, it will it will prevent you from doing, from taking taking your own life. So, um, whilst I know it is a bit silly, I hope the serious message comes across. So, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, we I just want you know I just want to take a moment to God bless them to still remember all the people that are not here who have taken their own lives from. Uh, from gambling addiction and uh, let's just take a minute to remember them throughout this clip so uh, wishing you well guys and I will speak to you soon all right god bless cheers I want to take you to this bridge actually and uh, we're gonna play a game (laughs) ever the kid me you've come here to to you know watch gambling videos and now I'm doing silly games but um, but there is a serious side to this because there's a Samaritan sign here and um, Obviously, they put it in a place where they feel that people might, you know, take their own lives and stuff. But, yeah, look, here's the site. Well, here we go. I'll just turn you around. So, yeah, um, we're going to play a game. And actually, on that note with the Samaritans, um, call them up because you're going to speak to really cool people. Uh, I've got a family friend, Erica. She uh, she was volunteering for the Samaritans on Christmas Day, and she's brilliant. She's like I just know. It's, I know it's obviously anonymous and stuff, but they will listen, and um, that's all you need. Someone to listen, to listen to you. You know. Um, so call, do call the Samaritans. Um, they're brilliant. They're brilliant. Um, right, we're going to play a game. <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this in a gambling video. My brother will watch this and go, cut this out, cut, cut, cut. We're not having this in a gambling video, it's unrelated. But we're going to try and get people to beep the horn. Right, let's try with this lorry. No. Didn't fancy it. <laughs> what, am I, what am I doing? Right, we're going to just try, just keep going, you know. See if we can get a few beeps off a car.
Come on, boy. Hey! Hey, trans from Leicester. JC Transport from Leicester. Big up to yourself. <laughs> oh dear. Right, on that note, um, I think I think it's time to leave you. Thank you.